much for tuning in to Webwatching. Hartstikke leuk dat je kijkt naar deze allereerste aflevering van Webwatching. Mede mogelijk gemaakt door Frankwatching. Of course, if you're American or English speaking, you probably didn't understand a word I was just saying. <laughs> But don't worry, Mike, everything else will be in English. This is Mike Merrill. He is the president of the Dallas Social Media Club. And he'll be joining me in talking about Google+. Plus. Yep. You'll have lots to say about it, don't you? I have lots of opinions and lots of tips. All right. Okay, let's move on first to some Google Plus statistics. First of all, Google Plus is Google's newest social network, of course, with more than 25 million users. 68% of them are male, and the number one occupation is engineer. So that's male and engineer. Very exciting. <laughs> It costs $585 million to build Google Plus. Unlike Facebook, there are no advertisements on Google Plus, and it's obviously sparked a lot of new interest because of brand pages. More about that later, though. Now, first of all, why should people join Google Plus? We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have LinkedIn, we have so many things to worry about already. Why? Because the reality is Google runs all search engines, okay. and clearly anything you do on Google Plus is going to be indexed, so there's a reason to participate, especially when you first create a profile and your photos out there when someone now searches your name your profile is going to show up on page one unless you have a very common name mm -hmm. um, but it'll help you get to page one for your name if someone does a search for you and okay. remember if anyone's ever looking for you they're going to go to google that's right that's right so search engines that's why Absolutely. we need to be on google plus now how do you get started i mean setting up a profile i did it it's not very hard but what are some of the next steps that people should be taking yeah i think the first thing is very similar to other social networks you know someone creates a twitter profile for example a lot of them don't put a picture they don't put a bio and they don't put a url it's a wasted opportunity to make an impression mm -hmm. but the other part just with it on the google profile make sure you fill it out completely because what happens you go follow someone And they can't identify you. They don't remember your name. They don't know anything about you. They're probably not going to follow you back. Okay. So yeah. why waste the time unless you completely fill out your profile? And there's ways you can SEO your profile, which certain sections are treated just like meta descriptions on a website. So make yeah. sure you fill out the occupation and the introduction so that you rank high for us. So if anyone searches for those categories, you also show up in search engines as well. One of those things is, I remember this weekend we were talking and you said, so what happens when you scroll over someone's name on yep. Google Plus and you scroll over my name and it just said about.com, nothing else. And right. apparently you can customize that so it's a little bit more appealing, I guess. Well, just think about the first two lines, the first line of each of those, the introduction and the occupation. That's what people are going to see, mm -hmm. and you want to fill that completely out. Okay. So how would you do that? So in the profile settings, there's actually a, a couple ways to do that. You see right under your name, there's a line that actually has a short intro. And then in on the um, page itself in the introduction, you want to basically those first two lines, SEO optimize, as well as under occupation, that's a short meta description as well. So... Basically, when you go to edit your profile, fill out everything. Yeah. And most importantly, put all the links to all of your other social profiles on your websites because those are what's called do follow links and they pass on what's called SEO juice. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Now, you can actually find this image um, on your website as well, right? Uh, yeah, I've linked to it, but you can also, we'll put it in the show notes too. Okay, yeah, we can definitely put it in the show notes too. <laughs> Uh, now about creating circles, because that's what it's all about on Google, right? Yes. How would you, how do you go about that? There are certain websites you can go to, I guess. And well, so there's a couple of the directories, but this is what was what was unique about Google Plus to begin with. While well, even though Facebook had lists, mm -hmm. the circles had a unique way that you could actually sort the stream by that list. But more importantly, I could share that circle. So what most people do today is they search for a person's name, confirm it's the person that they know, and they circle them. But what you want to do is take some time to think about what circles to put people in. Because okay, you want to be able to yeah. follow. So what category are they in? Mm -hmm. What kind of function are they in? Are they an entrepreneur? Are they a, a big brand? Are they a target company you want to work for? Or are they a target company people you want to hire from? Yeah, and it really could be anything, right? It could be your family, your closest friends, Absolutely. or people you, people you play a sport with, or mm -hmm. anything really. So, and, and so once you start circling people, then you can follow what they're talking about and very similar to Facebook and Twitter, mm -hmm. you can use the at symbol 
to mention that. Right. So, for example, one of the unique things about Google Plus is I can target people specifically and make the post private mm -hmm. so only those people see the post. And that's what I love about Google Plus. Yes. And it's very similar to Twitter, so it's very easy to learn. It is. I, I mean, I, to me, it's it's fairly intuitive. But there are some neat tips and tricks that we'll get into. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think take some time to learn some of those to get the most out of it. Okay, so now let's move on to some of your questions because you guys asked us a lot of questions. <laughs> I sent out one little post on Google Plus and we got a lot of response. So... <laughs> Uh, let's move on to the first question. Um, several people asked about the profile URLs. I think that's one of the main problems because you can't really go to Google Plus, Google Plus slash something something, your name. Yep. You don't really have that. So um, there's third party services like G Plus.2. Um, and I think one of our responses was from Harry Skelton who said, you can actually, um, on plus at google.com slash, you can put in question mark and then the user's Gmail name. Yep. And I didn't know about it either. Um, and so that's, it's a neat, neat little trick um, to, uh, to work around that. But do you know of any other ways to remember those Google plus URLs? Well, I mean, there's, you mentioned G plus dot T two O. Yeah. I, mean, I think I mentioned to you what I've done is I just created a 301 redirect to my own yeah. domain. So for me, it's mikemerrill.com slash G plus. Mm -hmm. Then you don't have to worry about this long string. Yeah. And that's great. I think a lot more Some people, people may not know how to do a 301 redirect, but it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And so if you don't know how to do it, you can always do the G plus dot two way. Um, next question from... Rohir van den Berg, he asked, will it be possible to connect to third party platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn directly? I think that's one of the main things. A lot of mm -hmm. people have asked us about this. You know, can you connect Google Plus to something like Hootsuite, you know, that a lot of us use? Is that possible in the future? Yeah, and uh, just last week, Google announced six partners. Hootsuite is one of them. Some of the big brand management platforms that you're going to be able to cross post to. But in the short term, some people have created some unique extensions in Chrome to help you cross post as well. Mm -hmm. And so some of those extensions um, are extended share, which um, you can share a link, um, share on to each post, star G plus, which helps you to put your Facebook and Twitter streams on your Google plus account. So mm -hmm. that helps a lot. So and then there's publish not... sync as well is another one. <laughs> Okay, okay, there you go. So there's All sorts not, of them. You can't really go on Hootsuite yet, but probably in the future you will. Absolutely. So that's nice. All right, I think we're running out of time. It goes by so fast. It does. But good news, because there's still two more shows to go. That's right, so, tune in next time. <laughs> yes, we all have a lot more answers to your questions. We'll tell you how to use Google Plus pages and the best Google Plus tools and website. First of all, where can people find you on Google Plus? Uh, How can people circle you? Oh, on Google Plus, like I said, it's mikemerrill.com slash G+. All right, and you can find me as well if you want to. Whole thing looks right. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Do it. Are we under? Ooh, how was, long was, how was that? was that? Oh, my God, that went way fast. Yeah, way, dude, way fast. Minutes, it was like, oh. Yeah, when you said four minutes, I was like, God, are we even past the second question, the second <laughs> bullet yet?